Hi everyone, welcome back to ITS workshop. So in next couple of videos, we'll be looking at Java API with SDFS. So we have seen SDFS command lines and we have performed all those operation, uh, listing out the directories and files and performing cat command, uploading data and downloading data, uploading file from local file system to SDFS and downloading file from SDFS to local file system. So we have seen all these operations and uh, now we want to perform all these things using Java API. So in last video we have seen how to create Maven project and I have created my Maven project SDFS Java API. You can see this form.xml. I'll be providing this form.xml in comment section. You can copy from that, you can create and make sure that uh, your Hadoop is up and running. I have performed JPS command and my Hadoop is up and running. And uh, I'm using plain version of Hadoop. It's not a specific like uh, Cloud Era or Sandbox like that. So it's just plain vanilla Hadoop and I'm using that. And this is my uh, SDFS file system. So this deck of card is one file which contains some text. Uh, of deck uh, of cards uh, obviously and uh, these are the directories in SDFS file system so we'll be performing all these operations and we want to interact with our Hadoop cluster using Java programs so that's our goal so in first program our first requirement uh, we just want to read uh, some data from this file so we have got this file deck of card file and I just want to read that data and I want to print in my console so that's my first requirement so just uh, right click on your package and create one class I'm naming this class Hadoop file system cat and then finish and I take main method And our first requirement is, uh, let us see uh, like how this uh, how this API is working. So file system API is used to open an input stream for a file. And a file in a Hadoop file system is represented by a path object. So we are taking whatever data is there, we are uh, reading as input stream. And next thing is, uh, we need instance of file system. So we have got file system dot get method, uh, which is accepting configuration. And these are all loaded version. Uh, here we are passing URI. So URI object, uh, like I'll be supplying uh, my URL for particular file as a string. So it will be converting that string into the real path. So that, that is URI and configuration. So configuration object goes back to the configuration file. So during installation, if you remember, if you have seen the installation video, then we at a week performed some changes in core side.xml. So we provided our specific type of configuration in this file. And that is just one XML file. So this configuration object goes to this XML file and reads it and check the configuration. So let us proceed in order to create this. So our first requirement, uh, we need one URI. We need to give it path. So I'll be supplying my path as a string. So here you need to be careful. Like I'm using plain Hadoop. So my path will be localhost and port number 9300. So if you don't know this, you can contact to your administrator Hadoop admin person and he'll be providing you this address or in cloud era version this will be specific I'll be providing this for cloud era also you can check this and in my case this is the URI so we have taken URI and now the next requirement is we need configuration so configuration object which goes back to the core side.xml file and other configuration file and it creates the configuration 
of our version that this particular version of Hadoop is being used by us so just import org.apache Hadoop configuration and next requirement of course we need file system so file system fs file system dot get method and you can see this get method uh, is accepting configuration URI configuration URI configuration and user information I'll be using the second one and first requirement it accepts URI so URI dot create now URI dot create accepts uh, this string so we'll be supplying this string and it this string will be converted into URI so just give URI we already supplied this and next requirement is configuration object now the uh, next requirement uh, we now we have got file system object so this file uh, you can use throws for IO exception so whenever you are handling with the files then IO exceptions are expected so next uh, thing we can take all uh, this FS we have got this FS object so this FS has got open copy and all these operations copy to local copy from local all these operations can be performed so first we want to perform open operation so this open operation will return data as a stream so data as fs data input stream so fs data input stream can also come under input stream input stream and um, initializing it with null and you can download it uh, not download you can import it mm, import sorry it should be input stream and this is nothing just a uh, normal java.io and then we can perform this open operation so now uh, in this method if if you have seen this method fs.open so open method is accepting path object and we have seen that in file system that for hadoop any file is represented by path object so we'll be supplying particular file as path so new path and this path where is this file coming from so i'm giving my particular url that you you take this uri and this is my path you can import this fs okay and now it's returning input stream so next thing what we have got input stream now not now what we want to do with this input stream so i just want to display this input stream in my console so you can see second step is to invoke an open method we have invoked open method to get the input stream for a file so using default buffer 4kb and user will supply the buffer size there can be two options so we'll be providing the first option we'll just do io utilities io utilities dot copy and this dot copy bytes where is dot copy bytes so here we'll be using this one so uh, the first argument will be input stream and then 
this copyrights io dot utilities copyrights this does what uh, it takes input stream then it uh, uh, whatever output stream we want to give so right now in our case this will be just system dot out our console and then we can provide the buffer size that you take this buffer and you you store the temporary data in that buffer and then you can supply the stream so this information uh, first argument we are supplying input stream second argument what will be our output mod so we'll be just doing system dot out and then buffer size default is we are not going with default we want to supply it this you can see default is 4 kb and if you want to supply you can give particular number and then whether you want to close it or not so do you want to automatically close it i'm saying it false so that's it uh, we we created one string and we provide the particular path we created configuration object it goes and reads the xml file and then we got file system and we need input stream so fs dot open operation will accept path and it will return input stream so now what we need to do with that input stream so we are using io utilities copy bytes and it will take input stream it will give an output here in this case it is just console and this is the buffer size and if you want to close it no user will be closing it that's what we are saying here so the best practice uh, you can surround it and try and you can perform the closing operation on your own so try and then finally as we know that finally is useful when we want to release the resources so in this case we are taking this responsibilities of releasing the resources io utility dot not open the close stream so which stream we want to close this in is my input stream i just want to close that so this is our program and so we want to read particular file and I'm naming this file like this is root directory so my file is in root directory and its name is deck of card so I'm giving this name deck of cards deck of cards dot txt you can save it now this is done let us run this program so right click on the class and run as java application okay so you see the output so this is the output from my file so deck of card has got this card information black spade second and black club and red diamond and red heart all these card information so uh, this is how we perform a typical read operation using sdfs and if you uh, if you are not using sdfs sometimes you are using local file system then you just give it root and it will be reading that particular file so hope you understand this concept and if you have any doubt please you please contact me and please ask in the comment section if you like this video please click on like button and please subscribe for more tutorials like this thank you